sketching a demand curve. Suppose the demand for new cars is given by QD equals 5.3 minus 0.1P. Now P is going to stand for the average price of a new car in thousands of dollars, and QD is the quantity demanded of new cars in millions. So what's the quantity demanded of new cars at each of the following prices? Well, let's suppose that the average price of a new car is $15,000. To find the quantity demanded at that price, we'll need to take our original equation and plug in the $15,000 for price but we're actually just going to plug in 15. We're dropping those three zeros because the equation we're given tells us price is already in thousands. What's left to do is work through the math. So we'll take 0.1 times 15, and then we'll take 5.3 minus 1.5, giving us a final answer of 3.8. So this means the quantity demanded is 3.8 million cars when the price is $15,000. Let's repeat this for an average price of $25,000 and $35,000. Start with our original equation, and I'm going to plug in 25 for the price. Working through the math, I end up with 2.8 million cars. Same steps for $35,000, starting with our original equation, plugging in the 35 for P, working through the math, and ending up with 1.8 million cars. So let's take this information and use it to sketch our demand curve, and then we'll make sure that it obeys the law of demand. So to find the price intercept for the demand curve, we need to plug in 0 for QD and solve for P. Here's my original equation again. I'll take the left-hand side and I'll plug in 0. I'll add 0.1p to both sides, divide by 0.1, and I get a price of 53. Now remember, this means it's $53,000. And when the average price is $53,000, the quantity demanded of cars is zero. Looking at our price quantity graph space, I'm just noting that price is in thousands and quantity is in millions. The first thing I do is plot my p-intercept, my $53,000. I'll go ahead and plot the next point that I know, which is $35,000 and 1.8 million cars. Dotted line might be helpful, or you could just plot the dot itself. We'll do the same for $25,000 and 2.8 million cars, and $15,000 and 3.8 million cars. I'll take all of those points and connect them, and that becomes my demand curve. The demand curve traces out the relationship between different prices and their corresponding quantity demanded. Now, as the price falls, we see that quantity demanded rises. So this is an example of the law of demand. Another way of thinking about it is, as price rises, quantity demanded falls. And this, of course, is holding everything else constant. We're not letting income change or tastes and preferences change or the number of buyers. All we're looking at is when price changes, how is quantity demanded affected?